Radio Free Europe published a photo from May 23rd over the Kushchevskia Air Base in the Krasnodar Territory. The photos confirm the reports that appeared earlier about the destruction of the Su-27. In another part of the airbase, a damaged Su-34 fighter can be seen in a photo taken after the strike. We see that there is an Su-34 with damaged or removed wings, and a clearly damaged Su-27 in another part of the airfield. The Su-30, which has hardly changed its position since May 11th and was next to the damaged Su, could also be damaged. 27 inch, said the aviation expert. Drones of Ukraine State Security Service attacked the Kushchevskia Air Base and the Slavyansk oil refinery in Russia's Krasnodar region on the night of May 18th to 19th. SBU launched a drone attack on the airfield jointly with the unmanned systems forces. The interlocutor noted that there were dozens of different aircraft at the airport at the time of the attack, including Su-34s, Su-25s, Su-27s, and MiG-29s. In addition, the management of the Slavyansk oil refinery stated that after several loud explosions the plant stopped its operations and they were now assessing the extent of damage. This is already the SBU's second drone attack on the Kushchevskia air base and the Slavyansk oil refinery in the past three weeks. Earlier, several aircraft were hit at the airfield, and at the oil refinery, the drones hit the fractionating and atmospheric distillation columns. Russia uses banned chemical weapons in battles along the entire front line. Russia is using banned chemical weapons, specifically chloropicrin gas, in battles along the entire front line in Ukraine with the goal of weakening the ability of Ukrainian troops to defend fortified positions and even forcing them to retreat. According to the Wall Street Journal, American and Ukrainian officials as well as doctors Soldiers and international researchers say Russia's use of banned chemical weapons on the battlefield is becoming more frequent as Moscow ramps up its offensive. Earlier this month, the United States announced sanctions against Russian companies and government agencies involved in the creation and supply of chemical weapons used at the front, specifically highlighting chloropicrin. The chemical, sometimes used in pesticides, was introduced into service during World War I and banned for use in combat by the Chemical Weapons Convention, which Russia is a signatory to. Dan Kazeta, a chemical weapons expert and associate researcher at the Royal United Services Institute think tank in London, says chloropicrin is toxic to humans and animals and also acts as an irritant. Depending on the degree of exposure, the gas can burn your skin, irritate your tear ducts and make it difficult to breathe, not to mention protect you from attackers. The chemical has been replaced by more modern substances sometimes used by police as tear gas known as CN and CS, which are also banned by the convention, Cassetta said. According to Captain Dmitry Sergienko, assistant commander of the Analytical Center of the Ukrainian Army Support Forces, which analyzes the use of chemical weapons at the front, all three of these substances are used by the Russians on the battlefield. Although his group mainly records the use of CN and CS in the area they are tracking, they also found two grenades containing chloropicrin at abandoned Russian positions, writes the Wall Street Journal. The Ukrainians have been monitoring the use of chemical weapons at the front since February 2023, and the number of confirmed incidents has been steadily increasing. As of May the 3rd, the support forces had confirmed 1,891 such attacks since data tracking began, 444 of them in April, an increase of 71 confirmed incidents from the month before. These numbers are an incomplete picture because the intensity of the fighting often makes it impossible to get to the site where the gas was used to take samples or interview soldiers. The Wall Street Journal notes, Lieutenant Vitali Katrik, a military medic working at a stabilization point near the front, said there were times when every second patient he treated was exposed to poisonous gas. According to him, once the Russians receive a shipment, they use it constantly until it runs out.